Okay, I'm Nino Shuka Sri Lim. I have uh, MD background, I have PhD in neuroscience, and uh, since then, since my graduation, it's already 15 years, I'm a medical educator. Really? And what do you currently do? Where, where I'm you? head of quality assurance department at uh, Ken Walker International University, which is in Georgia. Country Georgia, not mm -hmm. state Georgia. Oh, actually, we redesigned the research line at our curriculum, which means that uh, at the end of the curriculum, at the end of six years, our students have to do their own new research, not only just write project, but they have to do their research, they have to process, analyze their data, and they have to publish it, which is a lot of work. And considering that MD students hate maths and hate formulas, including me, whenever I was in med school. So making them somehow engaged into the biostatistics course, we made uh, several changes, changes in the bus teaching biostatistics course, and about these changes was my presentation today. Uh, first of all, probably, Rise up your voice. Don't be shy. Stand up and talk about communicate your thoughts because uh, the thoughts what is boiling in your mind might seem somehow stupid for you because of your un non little experience, I would say, but Whatever, every idea deserves to be shown up to the society and to be discussed. That's why be brave. Self-reflection. Nothing else but self-reflection matters. Because if you are, nobody can, okay, I can teach you, but you can't learn if you will not self-reflect. If you will not internalize my feedback, I can provide any feedback as much as you wish, but if you will not digest, if you will not internalize, if you will not fit it on this feedback, and if you will not start self-reflection, no learning will be there. So self-reflection is the platform for growth, and definitely in medical career, you need lots of growth, and self-reflection is the number one. I think that it will be a very good opportunity for everybody, especially for students, because whatever we are doing, we are doing it for faculty, for assessment purposes. And generally, I love that saying that assessment uh, of learning and assessment for learning. And whatever you are doing, this is assessment for learning. This is something, whatever is not just ticking and grading the student, but giving student a feedback and also giving opportunity for self-reflection to just watch again, to self-reflect and to understand the flaws because one is what I feel whenever I talk and another is whenever I'm yeah. recording and I'm watching on it. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was so lovely thank to you. meet you.